you guys. I'm so excited to show you something. We can look at these tools and number one, name them. And number two, guess what I'm doing today. So, blue thing, red thing, big thing in the middle, ball of something, well, spool of something, and that thing on the right. You guys, I'm so excited to show you something. Let's go see what it is. It's way over here in the back corner of the garden. Da, 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 da. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Look, look down here. Look what we have growing. I gotta switch the camera angle because I can't see what you see. All right, all right. Do you guys see it yet? Do you see it yet? Do you see it yet? A watermelon! I've got a baby watermelon and I'm so, so super excited to see it. Look how little itty bitty it is. Yay! Watermelon, watermelon, woohoo! All right, I will spare you guys my singing because that's, you know, the best I got, which is not really good. So let's go see. Did you guys see any other watermelons? Do you? See what we got. I see some flowers. There's a little watermelon flower. Okay, I said I was gonna stop singing, but seriously, I'm so excited. Lots of flowers. Bees buzzing me, so that's good. My girls are out doing their job. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, baby. All right, gotta be careful where I step. There's watermelon vines everywhere. Where'd it go, where'd it go? Look at that one. Look at that. Watermelon number two. That one's a little bit bigger. Let's see. This is so exciting to me, you guys. Sorry about that weird singing. That's a thing I do when I get excited. Um, my family's used to it, but sorry. Well, I'm looking, so that's three at least, at least three. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm so excited. All right, what have we got? I gotta stop this camera or I'm just gonna sing to you guys all day. I tried to grow watermelons before and if I can find that video, There'll be a link up there for you to follow. Um, okay, so we've got at least three grown out there. Might be another couple hidden somewhere. But yay. Okay, what else have we got growing on in today's garden update? Let me check it out for you. I seriously had no idea these guys would grow so tall. This is my zucchini and yellow squash. It's waist high. It's higher than waist high. It's like chest high. Wait, I thought it would like vine out. Mm -mm. So I may have been, uh, I may have made a bad decision when I decided not to thin it to just, you know, dig through it because how am I going to even get back there? I have to go on a jungle expedition to find any squash. Squash. Today, we are diving deep into the jungles of Lorella's garden, hunting yellow squash, that fierce vegetable full of goodness to sustain our family. Okay, that's enough of me being weird. Look at all those flowers. I don't see any actual squash growing yet, or zucchini, nor zucchini. It's nor, not or, when it's a negative. All right, and here we got other kind of squashy things growing. Greek red squash, cucumbers, weeds. Let's pull the weeds. That's not a weed. Where's this one? Here's the weed. All right, so while my cucumbers seem to be doing all right, let's come around and look on the other side of it. They're kind of overtaking the tomatoes so it was an experiment for me to see whether we could do tomatoes and cucumbers on the same trellis but the cucumbers are just growing so fast I think they're gonna shade out the um, tomatoes in the morning 
but the tomatoes might get good afternoon sun. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna get choked out. There's some cucumbers growing. Here's a little baby, itty bitty baby cucumber. There he is, guys. There's our first little cucumber sighting. I'm gonna take a photo. There we go. Did you guess what I'm doing with all these tools that are in my, what's this called, wheelbarrow? Did you, do you know the names of all the tools? Let's take a look again and I will guide you through. T-post pounder, T-post puller, shovel, ball of twine, and there was a tripod, but it's not there now. What are we doing with these folks, do you know? My lovely tomato plants are so getting so nice and tall they're falling over i'm gonna get four t posts from where the uh, firewood pile used to be they're going in here and i'm gonna use the twine to trellis these tomatoes here about 30 minutes I'm already hot and sweaty wiping moisture off my face the other day I made a comment on Liz Zorab's video she's in the UK if you don't watch her already you should go subscribe about how she always looks lovely in the garden and I always look a hot mess and her reply was well thank you number one and then she told me sometimes I shower up a bit before I come out and do the little recap and then she said, you, I've never seen you look a mess. What? What, 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 what? Okay, that's really exciting for two reasons. One, I don't look a hot mess in her eyes at least. Rose colored glasses, whatever, I don't care, I'll take it. Two, that would indicate that she's watched more than one of my videos where I've been in the garden because she said, I've never seen you look a hot mess. She didn't say, in the video I watched, you didn't look a hot mess. She just didn't end with, um, well, you know, sometimes I go clean up a bit. Um, she said, I've never seen you look a hot mess. Never seen me? Liz Zorab watches my videos? What? Are you kidding me? So Liz, if you're watching, I expect a comment, at least like a little thumbs up emoji or something, or just a little, you know, dot print through smiley face. You don't have to stay long but I just wanna see proof that you actually watch my videos. Okay, now let's talk tools. What I am holding in my hand is a T-post pounder. The job you do is made so much easier when you have the right tools. Um, you just saw me pull up four T-posts. Without that T-post puller, there's no way I could have done that. Uh, I would have been like bend back and forth, bend back and forth, trying to loosen the soil. Our soil is too hard and compact to even think about trying to do it that way. And half the time if you do it that way, you end up with a bent T-post. So T-post puller on a farm, I think that's a tool you must have. Um, the second one would be T-post pounder. They kind of go hand in hand. You really need the pounder before you need the puller, right? Because um, unless you're moving into a farm with established fences that you want to move, you're going to be putting in t-posts before you take them up now i have this cradled on my hip like a toddler because it weighs a ton this is heavy but that's the genius behind it so the hardest part is getting this onto the end of the t-post in an upright position but then when you pull it down onto the t-post gravity does most of the work for you it brings this heavy object bam down on top of the t-post right into the dirt so uh let me show you how it's done. This is easier with two people, but I'm gonna think, try my best and see. I think I can do it.
I'm already tired. I'm putting these tines on the outside edge of the garden to give the string as I wrap around something to grip onto a little bit. Hot mess face, just saying. That's all for this morning. Woo -hoo it's hot out. Okay, now go cool off, come back this evening and do some more weed eradication. Weeds, weeds, weeds. That's the theme of Garden 2018, I think. Hopefully soon it turns to veg, veg, veg. Or, ah, did you see that? <laughs> this just came like spooling out the bottom, like a ribbon. Um, or harvest, 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 or money, money, money. We'll see how it ends up. Right now it's weeds, weeds, weeds. But watermelon, watermelon, woo! Just saying. T post polar. No. Backing up. Rewind. T post pounder. Four. 